Dragon Ball game, breaking mm. records out here, making odds for anime. Yo, what's going on? This your boy Dr. Trump here. I just came through on my my select uh came up with my suggestions on my page is perfect the perfection, the natural selection. So he's going over this uh he got a little thing going on here. So let's see what's going on with this dude. Uh-huh. Made games worldwide. Let's see. Guys, Let's it's time to talk game. about a Dragon Ball game breaking records out here, making strides for mm -hmm. anime games worldwide. Mm -hmm. We're talking Desert. about Dragon Ball games topping 1.4 million in sales. What? No, we're not talking about Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, that piece of trash. Whoa, 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 anything. whoa, hold that up. Game. Well, well, hey, easy, buddy. What's going on here? Where's all that coming from? I need to take it easy. Let me see. Let me it's let me see. Dead. We're talking about Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 in its first week topping 1.4 million. Yo, hold up. Pause. I know, bro, you ain't talking about. What's the date? November 2nd, 2016. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. You know, Dragon Ball Spark Zero right now is top one on all platforms, right? It even beat Call of Duty right now. Like, it's on top. And the numbers haven't even come out yet. But I bet you it does more than 1.4, man. I, I put money on it. But let's continue on with this dude's uh, garbage rant. In sales. 1.4 million in the first week. Now, I had to talk okay. about this. I mean, Dragon Ball is legit. Going around Not with wrong with it. Zero. You know, even though Bandai Namco has been overblown for sparking what? zero you yeah. know what they had to try to put it on a wwe show they had they've given this game every opportunity to succeed because it needs those crutches and you know I, it got me Yo, to thinking nah, bro, did like, xenoverse 2 have all that did it get wwe commercials and, and sponsored man get uh commercials and and, and and movie commercials like Dragon Ball Sparky Zero. Did it get the commercial package? Man, Did it get come the on, bro. It's 2016. Package? Like, Did it get all it wasn't these bells as big as and whistles crutches to promote its greatness? No, it didn't need all that. It should be getting that. It's one of the top. It's the top selling Bandai Namco game, and it did. As of right now, it is. But I promise you, Sparking Zero is a good game. I ain't doubting that. But um, with that being said, man. Yeah, uh, back in 2016, they had they had a commercial, a TV commercial, as fact for Xenoverse 2, if I remember. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it did its thing. Come on. Didn't get any of that, and it continues to be the top seller for Bandai Namco. And in its first week, with no commercials, no WWE sponsored matches, it gets 1.4 million Yo. in sales. You don't, under, that, you don't understand, like, all the 30-year-olds that are, like, stars, WWE wrestlers, even uh, uh, music from WWE, everybody grew up watching Dragon Ball Z, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the, like, like that's why everybody, like, jumps on it for, for it, like, even, you know what I'm saying, that's why it gets promo like that. All that anime is getting promo now, it's because us, like, us, the 30-year-olds that, uh, that grew up watching this. Where uh, you know there's the stars and uh, they watch it too, you know. Say so they hip to it, and then back in the day we couldn't find a toy. Now you can find them everywhere. The perspective, Zeno verse one was so good in its first week it got half a million, and it took a full month for it to get 1.3 million. But Zeno verse two came in and literally tripled down and got one point. 5 million. I know I said 1.4, but 1.5 million was the cool. accurate number for how many sales it got in its, its first week. That doesn't even say anything about the entire month. And people are over here glazing, Insane, sparking no. zero when it's using all these crutches, these nostalgic tsunami commercials, these movie style. DLC character. Oh, mm -hmm. no, no, no. Base roster, because they couldn't bear to wait for these characters to be DLC when they could have gotten more characters around them in the game, right? What do you they had to 
uh, prematurely put those characters in the game where they look terrible. What are you saying, bro? Like, we got 182 characters and we don't have to buy a DLC. Like, that makes me buy it even more. That's going to make me buy it. Everyone's going to buy it just because of that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what are you talking about? And right now, Dragon Ball 2 Xenoverse, as of 2023, it sold 10 million copies. All right? So, let's go. Well, the character models are just regrettable. Their movesets are lacking. You know, they had to rush and put them in the game, right? And they used every trick in the book, and Sparking Zero is still failing to live up to Xenoverse 2. Let's read the article by Gamal. No, hold up. Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Hold up. This is from 2016. But, and also, you know Dragon Ball Fighter Z also sold 10 million copies. Anything Dragon Ball name on it sells, bro. Like, you don't need, like, promo like that. But this is just gonna, it's gonna put it over the top. You know what I'm saying? This is gonna put it over the top. Like, all the, the most, anything Dragon Ball related nowadays is gonna sell. Dragon Ball Fighter Z sold 10 million copies. Xeno, what you're talking about, sold 10 million copies. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, you need to... Like, bro, come on. You tripping. First two. Initial shipment. Top. 1.4 million. Newly launched sequel outpaces its predecessor. Initial worldwide ship. Dragon yeah. Ball's universe. Haven't seen I ain't it trying to hate, but everything Dragon Ball sells, bro. Unit. Like, you ain't they saying nothing new. Now, Dragon Ball's universe 2 launched. PS4 in Japan today, and for PS4 and Xbox One and this is international gonna last week, its predecessor, Dragon Ball Xenoverse, while launched across PS4, Xbox, PlayStation 3, and Xbox 60, took nearly a month to reach 1.5 million ships. Today, it has topped 4 mm. million. You're crazy. How are you comparing Guys, these two games? Don't let the Sparking Zero hype. See, Xenoverse 2 didn't have Bro, they already the got hype. It didn't need I'm the hype. It. I don't care what you're saying. It sold it off the hype. substance. It sold now, off because it's Dragon argue Ball. Argue but everything Dragon Ball sells, what are you talking because about? Because it, it has succeeded off of substance alone, then it should be getting the, the Sparking Zero crutches. It should be getting the WWE sponsored matches. So it what, be bro? It's money. The nostalgic tsunami commercials. It should Everybody be jumps on the hype of Dragon Ball. Any of man. That. How disrespectful Even you. to the loyal Xenoverse 2 fan base I bet that you carries suck at Dragon Ball games and continues to carry Dragon Ball games. But we want to go. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. Xenoverse about to get deleted. And I'm about to download Sparkling, bro. Like, come on. Sparkling you gotta make room in your PS4. Carry? To Xenoverse 2? Is that what I'm hearing? <laughs> yeah. What is it talking about? Bro? And it's let's crazy. be honest, guys. Yeah, let's be honest. Sparking Zero is nothing. Nothing. All right, all right. All right, enough of this guy. With that being said, this bro posted a. a, a you're a clown, bro. You posted a, a post from 2016. All right. And, um, it's gonna be real funny when the first week sales come out and they quadruples what it does of value and sales, man. Like everything Dragon Ball sells. So I can see it's currently number one and sells before actually being released. This is gonna increase with the people who hate pre orders are waiting to the for the real release. You know what I'm saying? That's already I bet you it's already like overwhelming. And that's again you 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 must have just woke up from a coma, bro. Like <laughs> you dead. Oh my god. You're crazy, bro. I know you you just trying to get some some views right before I mean I'm doing it too, but some views before it drops, right? But if you was you was a real fan, you would have bought it already like I did. <laughs> Yo, you're talking about a game that surpassed COD on pre-order, bro. And Xenoverse and Z Fighters, they both did great sales, but I think this is this is just the future right here, bro. This is where we're going in. 
bro. Like, can you play Budokai? Like, I want him. I will fight you, bro. Well, what are you talking about, man? I do like both. Oh, you know, I buy everything. Dragon Ball. I like all their their games and all that. But you can't like be throwing shades at the new game, bro. Like, are you gonna? Are, are you not good at it? Like, what was so up, man? Can you play? Can you play? Like, come on, man. Let's have a match. Let's have. Let's matter of fact, I'll you'll fight. I'll fight you in Sparkling, and I'll, then I'll fight you in Xenoverse. How about that? You know what I'm saying? With base characters, no skills. One on one, mano y mano. Nah, that's my switch. But anyways, uh, check this guy out. Perf Perfection, the natural selection. A pretty good commentator. Uh, with that being said, peace. Love trap out. I subscribe. Let me know what y'all think about his rant. I'm out.